Hi, my name is Christina. People call me Chrissy. I'm the Deaf Mentor Program Coordinator here at ASDB in the Deaf Mentor Program. I wanted to talk today a little bit about myself, my background and upbringing and experiences as a deaf person. I was born able to hear. I became deaf when I was two months old, when I contracted the measles. The measles caused me to spike a fever, which was really high for a two month old baby resulting in a hearing loss. And I became profoundly deaf. My parents are both hearing, my entire family is able to hear. Doctors consulted with my parents and recommended that I learn to sign ASL or C sign, also to learn to speak and get speech therapy. My parents agreed and I had the benefit of receiving training in all modalities, both sign and speech. I attended a variety of different educational programs growing up. I was in a preschool program that was housed in a public school that was for deaf children. In kindergarten, I went to a public school with deaf children in a class. In elementary school, I went to a day school for the deaf. In middle school and high school, just part of high school, mostly middle school, I went to a school for the deaf. And then in high school, I was in a mainstream program where I was the only deaf individual. My family can sign, though they're not extremely fluent, they can sign well enough that we can have conversations. I have four sisters and all of them sign except for the younger one who's unique and only uses finger spelling. After I graduated from high school, I went to Gallaudet University where I met my husband. After high school, I went on, but my family signing deteriorated, which is normal because I wasn't home interacting and signing with them. Looking back, when I think of my father, he always told me that it didn't matter that I was deaf, that I could go on and do whatever I wanted to do. He never held me back. He always encouraged me to get out there, to be a part of sports, to join different activities, and to chase my dreams. My mother fought for me. She wanted me to have the best education I could. She was always with me, making sure that I was meeting age-appropriate milestones in language, education, as well as other areas. I had wonderful parents who really worked hard and supported my education and ability to grow. And that's how I am where I am today. I have a job. I earned a bachelor's degree in early childhood education from Gallaudet University, a master's degree in early childhood specializing in teaching adults from Walden University, and so that's how I am where I am today. I have one child. I have a son who can hear. I have a husband who is deaf. And in my life, I value American Sign Language. It's extremely important. And my advice to parents out there, I encourage you to get out there and meet as many deaf adults in the deaf community that you can. Keep an open mind and keep your heart open. This is going to be a journey, a hard journey, and it's different for everyone. We are so excited to have you as a part of our family. We're here to support you regardless of what decisions that you make. What's important is that your child has full access to language and that they have the opportunity to acquire language for their future learning. Thank you for watching and I look forward to meeting you out there. Bye.